So just going to show you the abilities of, of this phone as a media player. I'm going to compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S2. So first off we'll just load up the music player. Um, fairly standard looking music player here. You've got a list view. Um, along the top you can search by different um, criteria. Um, we'll just go and search by album at the moment. Now the cool thing though with Bata is that you flip the phone on the side and you get this cool um, uh, carousel showing your CDs with the album art and we can simply just select one, click on it, get the music uh, tracks, click on one of these, it starts playing, you can flip it back, we get a um, the music player, it's got the graphic equaliser there, um, we can actually change that to just show the album art, it has got the album art there in the background but it's very um, faint, so now we've just got the album art, so we flick through like this, if we flick it back to the carousel, you can also search a third way by clicking there and we get this sort of fancy looking bubble thing and again we can search by different criteria. Just pause that for a second. Now compare that to um, the Galaxy S2 which is running um, the latest version of Android, um, Android 2.3.3 Gingerbread. Where is the music player? Okay, so we loaded this one up. We've got the music player. Fairly standard um, list again. Flip it on its side. And, well, you don't get anything fancy. It's just got the ordinary list again. Um, when you load it up as well, it's... Oh, we load a song. Okay, it's got the same sort of graphic equaliser there. Um, pretty standard. Got this in silent mode, that's why there's no sound coming. Now, another cool thing with this is, um, we'll go keep it here. We can also just click here, and you get this nice effect where it brings up all the details um, of the music. So, the length of the song, the composer, the year, um, all that sort of information. We simply flick it, click it, and flip back to the music player. So, it's a very cool sort of effect. You don't get that on, um, we actually do get it on this. Let's have a look. If we go back. I think it does have that effect, but you've got to flick here, you've got to go like that, and it doesn't look as nice. So Bard is very definitely um, a nice looking operating system. Now if we look at the movies, um, go and load up a movie. Okay, now with this you can watch the movie either in um, portrait mode or in landscape mode. Got no sound, I'll just turn it up. Now another cool thing is we've also got this thing called Mosaic Search, which basically brings up a um, breakdown of the, the movie. And you can simply click on one of these and be taken straight to that part of the movie. So it's a very cool feature. Now if we go back to this phone, uh, Android, how do I get out of this? We go to a movie. Now on this one, um, you've simply basically just got landscape view. No portrait. You flip it outside, you don't get anything, so you're pretty much stuck with landscape. So that's one cool thing um, about Barter. Now another cool thing is if we go into the operating, uh, sorry, into the um, internet browser, let's just go and load up a, a site. Have a look. It's going to load up a site. Here we go. So we've got a site loaded. Got the pinch to zoom. We'll just make that full screen. Okay. Now um, it's very, very responsive. Um, pretty much keeps up with my finger. Um, no checkerboarding. Um, very, very nice. Now the cool thing is, well, if we flip it on the side, you get this sort of transition effect when it goes from one one screen to the other. You can see it zoom in and out. Now, if we compare that again with the Android phone, just load up the internet browser. We go to that same site. Okay, so we've got this 
um, you can see how it flashes white there you get this horrible checkerboarding effect there it goes again um, doesn't happen with with Bada. no checkerboarding really good so this one definitely does checkerboard and when I move my finger around it doesn't quite keep up with my finger not quite as responsive um, it does have kinetic scrolling though which uh, Bada doesn't quite quite do the same with less, less kinetic scrolling there but um, certainly more responsive and no checkerboarding which is great this really bugs me with the, the checkerboarding on this thing um, and another thing you flip it on the side um, whoops, I've gone out of it. Accidentally hit the home button. If we go back to it. Okay, so you flip it on the side and no transition effects, just goes boom straight from one to the other. So again, with Bada, definitely much nicer with that sort of transition effect.